hi guys welcome to pixel affair it's Kobe here so it's been a while since i uploaded anything here on youtube and that's because i've been busy with works and everything but i'm putting things together to get back soon and i've gotten a couple of requests and people asking me when i'm coming back so i'm putting it all together and very soon there'll be a lot of exciting things on here now the main reason why i'm doing this video is actually i woke up this morning to an exciting news of new release of cinema 4d amazon announced a new release of cinema 4d which is cinema 4d 2025 and it looks like there's not much noise about it and that's because probably people have not realized it yet yeah but amazon have gone out to announce a new version of cinema 4d which is cinema 4d 2025 and there are a couple of interesting stuff in it i will share my opinion and how i feel about it at the end one thing that actually excites me is the addition of redshift full redshift to cinema 4d subscription so now if you have cinema 4d subscription you have full access to the redshift initially you had it but it was just the cpu version which you could only use cpu version if you want the full gpu version of redshift you probably have to get a redshift subscription but now with just cinema 4d subscription it looks like you can also have full access you have full access to the redshift um renderer which is the gpu plus the cpu which is very powerful that's the most exciting things from exciting thing for me and also there's a new modifier called the follow spline modifier which makes you be able to make your particle flow along a spline which technically you could do initially but i think this one makes it easier and reduce the steps of doing it yeah and there are other improvements in um, other modifiers like the spin modifier math modifier and look spin and turn modifier as well now with simulation the rigid body now supports more graph weights and the force object which i think will be interesting to play with now there's no way we will talk about particles and rigid body simulations without talking about pyro so there's a new emission type called sparse volume and sparse surface which according to maxon based on um, nanotechnology can make you make bigger and faster explosions uh, or pyro simulations right and i can't wait to actually play along with that one as well they are actually also a new improvement in the pyro um, parameters and stuffs and also there's a lot of um, new pyro presets in your content browser so actually there are a lot of interesting things to play with or a place to start from also there's the new field driver tag and object profiling manager which actually i think it's a very good for um, efficiency of your scene and your scene to run smoothly in the viewport and stuff like that which i think it's very useful for me one aspect of cinema 4d that i think needs to be given a bit more attention is the scene node aspect of cinema 4d and here in this version got a bit of improvement so there are a couple of new nodes like the point modifier node set points um value node and um, noise modifier node and other interesting nodes in there and i think there's been a bit of improvement in the scene node actually so i think um it's not a, a right it's not a bad step but like i feel like there can be more so i'm very excited about that one as well there's also um the color management aspect of it and there's new color management improvement also export improvement and silverware improvement you know like i think it's an interesting release and there are a couple of interesting stuff in there now personally i think it's not a bad release but i think um i kind of expected more and i don't know what you think let me know what you think in the comment section i've not actually got my hands on it to play with it yet to get my full feeling about it but as it looks now there are a lot of interesting things in there but i feel like um i'm on well with um, the things i was expecting to be in like a major release like 2025 but still it's not a bad release and i want to know what you think about this release all right i'll see you in the next one i'll get my hands on it play with it and come out with a lot of interesting things and now there will be a lot of um tutorials very soon i'm working on things to get back very soon thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one